Truman Kitchens is getting it, baby. OMG Nation, how are you? today's video which today's video I'm gonna take you with me on the hog chapter picnic which is the newly named moonshine hog chapter right here in Franklin Tennessee and we are based out of you guessed it moonshine Harley Davidson right here in Franklin Tennessee before I get to that I want to appeal to you guys I want to tell you something that's kind of important to me some of you guys will uh, know what I'm talking about. It seems like every couple of weeks, every couple of months, somebody else that I know is running into some bad health issues. I wanna appeal to you guys. I am, before I tell you this, I am not a licensed nutritionist or I am not a medical doctor. I do not have a license in any of that stuff. I just, can only tell you what has worked for me. There's going to be two things that I recommend that you should look into and study up on about removing from, let's just say diet. I do not like the word diet. And the reason I do not like the word diet is because it does not have to be, it's because it cannot be a diet. It has to be a lifestyle change. I want you to remove sugar, unless it's coconut sugar, but I want you to remove fructose, high fructose, uh, cane syrup, cane sugar, any of that stuff, I want you to remove it from whatever you're consuming every day. That means you have to look into it. And I'm gonna tell you guys a secret because you're thinking, man, I don't even know what to look up. I have zero affiliation with this app that I'm about to tell you guys about, but it's called the Bobby, that's B-O-B-B-Y approved app. You can find it on all the app stores and you can download it. Basically what it is, this app has a scanner, a built-in scanner inside of it. You walk into a grocery store and you scan the barcode of whatever it is you're about to purchase. And it goes through a little search that it loads up that product if someone else has scanned it before and has scanned the ingredients list. Then it lets you know what ingredients are harmful for human consumption. And I'm gonna tell you this, you learn quickly about seed oils. That's the other thing I want you to remove from your diet. If you're having health issues, remove the seed oils. So just take away sugar and just take away seed oils because I'm gonna tell you this, after you consume that stuff for a long time, and don't worry guys, I'm gonna to get to the video in a second. But after you consume that stuff for a long time, it takes a toll on your body. But the good news is, is it doesn't take that long to reverse it. And you must be thinking, OMG, what do you mean reverse it? I want you to think about it like this. When's the last time you cut your finger? Did your body heal itself? The answer is yes. Your body always wants to heal itself. So when you cut out the sugars and you cut out all of those seed oils and you start to learn what to look for as far as what you should be ingesting with the help, with the aid of this Bobby app, you start to see all the toxins and all the stuff that's extremely bad for you that's in our food becomes a little disheartening but with some work you can figure out hey i can get some of this stuff because it's not bad for me give that a try and maybe just if you don't feel like you can cut it completely out then cut it way back start eliminating stuff and guys i'll tell you this some of you guys have seen me go from right at 200 pounds to about 180 where i'm at now there are four things that i did i cut out the seed oils I cut out the sugar. I started intermittent fasting. And you can ask me about that. Send some questions over to my Instagram and I'll show you, I'll send you the free app that I've been using as well. Again, zero affiliation with those guys. That's all I did. And that helped me lose all kinds of weight. I'm about to go on this boat dealership over here. I gotta pick something up for my little aluminum boat. Let me run in here real quick and then I'll pick back up where I left off. All right, I got what I needed. Let me get my golden gloves back on. Link in the description on these bad boys. I'm still loving them, guys. You need to check them out. The golden gloves right here, Indy Ridge. So here's the good news. 
you guys don't have to go as extreme as I went, but let me tell you this, I also did not do all of that at the exact same time. I cut out the sugars first, and then I started doing the intermittent fasting thing, and then after that, I cut out all the seed oils, and I feel amazing. I sleep better when I go to bed at night. I lay down, man, I go to sleep, and then, man, I wake up in the morning and I feel refreshed. I don't wake up groggy. I feel like some of the brain fog that I had before, especially since I've just been doing kind of the carnivore-esque diet. So the only thing that I've been eating is meat and eggs. And that's about it, and drinking water. I even dropped all the coffee and I feel amazing. And I only tell you guys this simply because, guys, it's working for me. I don't know if it'll work for you. You know, maybe go talk to your doc or something. But I know what will work. If you take out those sugars and remove those seed oils, you guys are going to feel amazing because that stuff is just toxic for you. But anyways, I'm done preaching from my soapbox up here. Again, I want to let you know I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. I'm just telling you something that worked for me. So if you guys are gonna try it, you know, reach out to one of those guys. But I would at least get those sugars out of your diet, man. So now let's go over to some of the footage from the Moonshine Hall Chapter Picnic. Man, we had a blast. Mrs. OMG was there. OMG Jr. was there. And his favorite part, all he talked about was the water balloon fight. He couldn't wait to have the water balloon fight. And as you'll see from this video, guys, OMG Jr. is always ready for competition. And he was not afraid to have a water balloon, <laughs> to have a water balloon fight with all the adults. So let's get to it. Get 
tell me what's in there. But your water balloons. Water balloons? I don't know what that is. That's a baby water balloon. I think I'm going to throw them that high. Okay, what's the next game? The good old water balloon toss. Oh, yeah. Ronnie's the two year in a row reigning champion on this, right? No, I don't remember. He is. Oh. And where is he at? That's not fair. Oh, Nails, are you going to win this? Yes, yeah, of course I'm going to win it. I win everything. You know that. That's true. I agree. I was going to say. If there's money, if I have to pay money to win, yes, I will win it all. It's too close. Okay. Now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, now we got a chance. We're starting close. We can go the other way. Start out far oh, and go close. We start close. All right. Are you ready? We won't even make it that far. Wait a minute. They're going to toss it back. Thank you. And then you're going to take a step back. Okay. Go. Alright, Nails, what happened? First out! First! We're Winner! We're first! <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, there's out! Good man! Oh. I feel it coming! I feel it coming! <laughs> You gotta catch with a oh. Oh, we Hold on, we got a winner. Winner, winner, right here. Winners, let's see how far they can go. We got a winner. They're still going. Oh my God. Okay, Nails, you're gonna win. Nice job. Winners. You have to do the victory lap. He's coming out of your pocket. <laughs> All right, hey, this camera is not waterproof. <laughs> Do not hit Ryan. picnic but that is our first time that we had the picnic under the name the moonshine chapter previously we were the middle tennessee hog chapter kept our number 2715 that's still the same but we are officially now the moonshine chapter i actually have my moonshine patch that goes on the back it's actually at the seamstress now and they're sewing it on my vest i'll show that to you when I get it back, I think I'll actually pick it up sometime next week is what the lady told me. She said that she'll have it sometime between Tuesday and Thursday. I told her, take her time, take her time. You guys tell me 
your hog chapter, if you belong to a hog chapter in your area, what types of games do you guys do? Do you have an annual picnic or do you have an annual event? The two things that we do, I just got creamed by a bug on the shoulder. The two things that we do annually is we have the hog chapter picnic annually and we have the Christmas party annually. And we have a blast with that. We uh, do a Dirty Santa type deal sometimes and then sometimes we go to this little place. It's a bowling alley, but it is these little miniature bowling balls. And I believe it's actually for kids. We call it bowling with little balls, but I don't know what they call it. And we have a blast. They, they raise up the bumpers on each side and you could just sling the ball anywhere and it'll just bounce all around. Oh, let me tell you guys this, and when I say guys, I mean all of you guys and the three women that watch this channel, I excessively use the word brother. I've had several women reach out to me and start typing to me, and I respond, yeah, brother. <laughs> and then they say, uh, okay, <laughs> sister, or okay, lady. <laughs> and then I realize, oh, I just called a woman brother. I'll say to Mrs. OMG, oh, okay, I get it, brother. And she's like, I am not your brother. Stop calling me brother. <laughs> so don't take offense. Just know that it's it's a it's a habit for me. I've been saying that for a very long time. But it's a term of endearment that I use all the time. So I even I think I've said this before on uh, one of my videos is that sometimes all right all right guys we're gonna call this video hey do me a solid hit the like button please consider subscribing to the channel I have all sorts of motorcycle content reviews gear reviews I work with moonshine Harley Davidson up there to show you some of their new bikes and sometimes when they have some of their builds that people have traded in to get a even more powerful build I do test rides on those builds which is a whole lot of fun. Some of those videos are back through my videos. If you haven't seen them before, run back there and take a look. And like I always say, keep it old school. Thanks for watching everyone. This is recorded by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.